What's up guys, my name is Lucan Styles and 2 here and in this video I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to play or use any DLC weapon in any multiplayer match. Now you can do this online, it's not custom games and it's pretty easy to do. You don't need a friend to help you with this and all it requires is two controllers. But then that, let's get right into how to actually do this glitch. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go onto the account that you want to get the DLC weapon on. So I'm going to be doing this on my main account. And you're going to go ahead and go onto the gunsmith and make a couple CUDA variants. And then you want to make a variant for each SMG and each AR. Now, you don't have to do it for every single one of them. You can just do it for the base guns. But you want to do the same thing for your dummy account as well. Once you've got that done and out of the way, what we're going to do to start this whole entire thing off is start on the dummy account. Now from there, go ahead and go to your settings, go into your network settings, and from there, go ahead and disconnect your console from the internet. After your console is offline, basically, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and start up Black Ops 3. Once you've loaded into Black Ops 3, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hover over Play Online. Once you're hovering over Play Online, go ahead and reconnect your console back to the internet, after you've done that, go back into Black Ops 3 and click Play Online. From there, it should give you two options, either to play online or to cancel. Click Play Online, and then as soon as it says connecting to online service for a second, go ahead and hit Circle or B to back out of that, and then hit Start on your controller. And now, all you have to do is just wait until it does show your Crypto Keys and Liquid Divinium up on the top right. Once you see that, go ahead and click X or A to go into Black Ops 3, and you should have a glitched out UI. At this point, go ahead and connect your second controller, which will be the account that's going to be getting the DLC weapon. So I'm going to be doing this on my main account. But once you've connected your second controller, go ahead and click on the campaign using your first controller, and it should load you into campaign, obviously. Now from here, go ahead and hit start on your second controller, go to the barracks and click on your campaign stats and from there, all you have to do is just scroll down to every single category, every single box that it shows your stats on, just go ahead and click on it and scroll down. And you actually want to scroll through all your stats in campaign two times just to make sure that everything is going to be glitched out, so go ahead and do it two times. Once you're done, go ahead and go to Identity, click on Gunsmith, and from there, you should see everything glitched out, like all the guns completely glitched out. As you see here, it says the BRM right there, it says the Annihilator, you should see everything glitched out. If it doesn't say that, go ahead and just scroll through your stats one more time, but everything is glitched out as you see here. And from here, what you're going to want to do is actually look for the DLC weapon in that category that you do want to use. So I actually want to use the XMC. And I actually figured out that the BRM was actually the XMC as you see here. And you're going to want to go ahead and make a couple variants of that gun. So make sure you do not put any attachments or optics on the DLC weapon. You can put a camo on there, it doesn't matter. But just do not put attachments or optics on there. And from there, once you've made one variant, you want to go ahead and actually make at least a couple more. At least four or five will do. Once you're done with that, you guys can go ahead and back out the pause menu with your second controller. And from there, use your first controller to back out of campaign. Go into multiplayer, click on public match, and at this point of the glitch, you guys are going to have to do this very quickly, but what you're going to do is go ahead and hit find match using your first controller, hover over the game mode you do want to use the DLC weapon in, and as soon as you click on the game mode to search for a match, you're going to use your second controller, click on create a class, and go onto any class that you do want to put the DLC weapon in, hover over primary, and from there, Use your first controller to click X or A and it should bring up the gunsmith. Then click X or A on your second controller and it should bring up another set of guns. Then you want to quickly go through each and every single variant for the SMGs and also ARs that you did create. Just to try and find that gun that you did make. So I made the XMC and I actually eventually found it. And from there once you find the gun, go ahead and put it onto your class and wait until the game starts. Once you guys load into the game, you guys will see that you guys aren't able to actually choose the class with the DLC weapon on. Just go ahead and choose any other class, and from there, kill yourself, and before you kill yourself, switch to the class with the DLC weapon on. And as you see there, once you spawn in, you will have the DLC weapon in your hand. You guys will be able to use it in-game, as you see here. I was able to spawn in with the XMC, in which I actually do not have unlocked. As you see here, I'm on my main account. I'm going to go to the SMGs, and I do not have the XMC unlocked. 
So you guys can basically do this with every single DLC weapon in the game. I believe there are a few melee weapons that you cannot do this with, but you can do this with a lot of the good DLC weapons, so I believe the only downside to this glitch is that I believe after the game ends, the gun will actually disappear. As far as I know, there is no way to actually make it stick, but if there is a way to make it stick, I'll be sure to post about it, but big shout out to the founder, the shadow crafter for actually finding this glitch, and big shout out to Jugger for the actual UI stack, but other than that, be sure to go check them out, their links will be in the description below, and yeah guys, for Kins 2002, signing out.